We're now going to install Hadoop onto our Ubuntu desktop. Um, so I'll right click and open terminal window. And I've created a Word file here to accompany this video. Uh, here it is here. And it's basically, first of all, we've been installing a, Ju a, a Java, uh, uh, adding a dedicated Hadoop user, um, installing SSH, uh, setting up the SSH certs, and then installing Hadoop and setting up the config files and the the last thing is 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 editing a few xml files here okay uh, and adding some things to it so basically and at the end when we get to the very end starting a dupe uh, is either go to localhost 8088 or 570. Um, so just how we're going to start this is again what i'd like you to do with this file is just copy uh, each of the um, commands okay and what we're going to do is just right click and paste them into uh, your terminal window okay you'll be asked for um, uh, you'll be asked for your password the first time so do that and then you'll see uh, some things happening um, now what we're going to do here is rather than you looking at me um, uh, just installing away here. Uh, I'll install and then I'll just restart the video uh, uh, where, where it's just copy and paste. I'll just uh, I'll, I'll pause it for that. But um, where something needs to be edited, I'll just restart it again. Okay, so uh, uh, just uh, follow the Word document that accompanies this file. When it comes to the command uh, uh, sudo add user in group Hadoop user, Okay, it's going to create, it'll ask you for the Unix password, again, you type that in, and then it will ask you for uh, user information. I've just hit enter uh, for each one, and uh, just default information, and then I'll just say yes uh, to that, and, and carry on. I've reached the part of the install where we need to um, where I need to actually install or, or edit a file. I'm using nano here as the editor. Um, so if I issue that command, and I'm going to come down here to the very end of the file. Okay, give myself a bit of space. And I'm going to copy this code, right click and copy, and I can paste it directly in. Okay, uh, when we've done that, I can just go Control X, uh, Y on the keyboard to save changes, and hit return. Okay, and that's how I edit a file. Okay, um, so carry on then. The next file I have to edit uh, is here, so I'll paste that in. Uh, again, I'm using Nano. And what I'm coming down, I'm coming down here and I'm going to edit this file, the export uh, Java home. Uh, here, if I just copy this line here, okay, copy that, and if I just comment this with the hashtag, okay, and just give myself the space there, and I'll right click and paste that in. So there's my line of code. I'll go Control and X, and yes to save changes, and return. I'll now have to edit uh, again. I've been just going down through a couple of the commands. And uh, now I have to do an XML file. So if I paste in that, okay, uh, here's an XML file. And if I come down here, uh, you'll see there between uh, configuration and forward slash configuration, uh, I want to paste in this code here. Let's say I'm not going to take configuration because it's already there. So if it's in green, don't take it. So I'll just take the properties there, I'll copy that, uh, paste that in. Okay, I'll go Control and X, uh, yes to save changes and return. Uh, there are three of these X, uh, XML files to do, so uh, make sure you get each one. We're at the end of the install now. I'm just um, at the point now where I'm just changing into the SBIN directory. And I'm going to change uh, as my 
user to HD user. Okay, uh, I'm going to start DFS SH. And start that. Okay, my password. Okay, so let that run just while that's running. I'll start yarn.sh. position where I can actually start Firefox. Uh, so let me start Firefox. Uh, I seem to have an issue there with the node, starting the node. I'll put a, um, I'll just get a, a fix for that and amend this video to do it. To do it. Um, but again, let's start Firefox here. So I'll start Firefox. And I'm going to go localhost 8088. and run that and we should see this uh, on the browser window inside the virtual box okay again go down to the uh, nodes actually some issue there with nodes let me come back to you with uh, on that uh, so again uh, click on each of the uh, make sure everything's kind of working and again click on the scheduler so the new whatever applications uh, sorry, scheduler configuration uh, again I can see the XML file there uh, local logs uh, server stacks okay and matrix I don't uh, let me check the matrix I don't think we've got anything there just yet um, okay uh, there's the cluster so again um, okay, uh, in our next video, um, we'll look at how we can run our first MapReduce. Okay, thank you for your attention.